This is my first scar. A kitten scratched me when I was four years old. And you might be thinking to yourself, what the hell is Gordon talking about? And that'd be a good question. In life, you get lots of scars. Lots. I have many. I'm not going to talk about them all. That's not the point of this, this brief presentation. All I want to say with this is that this may have been my first scar, but it wasn't the worst scar. In other words, when you make decisions, even the very earliest ones, they may not be the most important. So how do you rank them? And the moment you put a number to your decision, in a series like this, you're going to offend people. And that is not my intention. And this presentation will be about the housekeeping of how I number my presentations. And I'm doing it predominantly because no one, most of them have absolutely no, they have not been rated against the others. I hope it makes sense and I don't offend anybody, especially my daughter. My billion decisions. They took me from somewhere to somewhere else. And some, well, <laughs> this was a really bad idea. In your life, as I've said, if you have a billion decisions to make in your life, let's assume only 1% are really important. The big ones, you know, like getting up in the morning or brushing your teeth. And you may not think that's important. You may not think that's important. You may think to yourself, ah, what the hell does it matter if I don't brush my teeth? You know, what the, how would that affect my life? Well, let me, give you a, let me give you a scenario. You don't brush your teeth. You have bad breath. You go to work that day. You meet a client. That client doesn't want to get too close to you, doesn't want to talk to you, doesn't want to do anything. And suddenly, you lose that client and maybe the job of a lifetime that they would have hired you had they talked to you more closely or intimately. So even something as simple as not brushing your teeth could lead to a life-changing event in your, in your life, my life, whatever. And I'm trying to think of examples in mind that would have been that small and had some impact. <laughs> I don't want to say. I just don't. I, I will maybe later, but not now. Anyways, so in this case, all I really want you to understand is that I tend to look at everything I do based on um, numbers. Okay. Now, in all of these numbers, I wanted to make it very clear. I am not ranking them. There are a couple that are very important to, in my life, and they will be significant. And they may be the top 10 or 15 or 20. And I don't rank them. And I don't rank them for good reason. Because you can be really offensive when you rank things. Because suddenly someone decides, hey. So the most important thing here is that the very small numbers you see of mine will be my most important decisions that I made in my life and had great impact on my life. And thereafter, it will be either from my child stories from my childhood or when I was in university or doing research or running companies or when I worked in the government, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, until today and until I die. And anyways, <laughs> the point of the story is even something as simple as getting out of bed early might be the day or late might be the difference between you getting into a car accident or in a major car, uh, car number of cars in a pileup on the highway. You know, if you leave five minutes later to work, you might live. Or if you leave five minutes earlier, you might be in a bad accident. It's that simple. It really is. Now, the important rule here, and this is the number one rule, do no harm. As I was talking about numbers, if I start ranking things and people think, I think this person's more important than that person vis-a-vis -vis girlfriends or best friends or what have you. I'm not here to offend people. And my rule number one is always do no harm. And this extends beyond that. So part of my housekeeping I want to talk about today is also in the language I might use. I might say things like we did this or we did that. It's the royal we. I, I want to be clear here. I am not going to incriminate anybody. I'm especially not going to incriminate myself in any wrong dealing. Canada does not have statute of limitations. And other countries, if they find out that you've done something illegal or have been charged, etc., they don't let you enter. So I am not going to say anything that's going to incriminate myself or anybody else, especially family, especially good friends, and even people I don't like, I don't want to do it. So my rule number one is do no harm. 
And there are things that occur and I will talk about and I will use things like we did this and we did that. If I was to be taken to court in any way, shape or form, I will deny all of that. Everything. I will not lie. I can tell you right now, I do not lie. That's something I will talk about in the future. But the number one rule I live by is do no harm. So understand this. Anytime I talk about things, I am not trying to be offensive. I'm not trying to insult the audience. Any of you, I, I don't mean, I don't mean it to be bad. And I sure as hell don't want to make people go to jail. So, and there are many things I could talk about that could do that. And, and I'm, <laughs> no. And there's other things, not just that. I mean, I mean, there are things that I was involved in that were, they were, you know, really very classified in the government in particular. There are things that I was involved in that we were simply were not allowed to talk about, not at all. And I will not, and I will not discuss that because some of those things can be quite detrimental to um, the, the functionality of projects that are going on around the world and things like that. And you just, I mean, if something is doing really good, if there's something a little stupid about it, a little scaly about it, do you want that to stop all the rest of it that's good? And that's, that's a hard call. I, I understand many of you might think, no, 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 you can't do that. You've got to be, you know, and live by the line. And I generally do. I generally walk away when I find things are a little bit on the side that I don't want to be involved in. Because as I said, I do no harm. I don't want to do any harm. So that includes things like, I don't like damaging any kinds of properties of people. I don't want to hurt people's feelings. I don't want to get people injured. I don't want to, and it goes on. The list goes on. And I try to live by that. So I want you to take that away from this. So in this housekeeping, not only is the numbers important, I'm not ranking the various things. So I'm not saying this friend's more important than another. This girlfriend was more, I won't do any of that. Um, what I'm saying, and this is for my sanity, I think, more than anything, I'm just saying, I will not do harm. So when I use the, thing, the words like we and I and they, I'll, I'll try not to give names to things if I think there's something criminal about what it is that was being done or happened at the time. I mean, for instance, <laughs> we burned a bridge down. Okay, it was a little wood bridge. We burned it down. We didn't burn it all the way down. We just burned it so badly that when the water, the river flooded, the creek flooded years later, or the year later, the, the <laughs> you know, anyways, the poor guys driving across that little bridge, it was a very, it was a private bridge, so, and, and they fell through. Their car got stuck in the, the rotted wood. So that would be an example of where I use the word the, we. Now, that happened so long ago, the bridge doesn't exist. The people that were all that lived on that island are all now dead and gone. Um, and there was no criminal charges, none whatsoever. And there's no, we didn't do it intentionally. It was an accident. I will say that up front, although it was really stupid, <laughs> just so you know. So I will not do harm. And I won't tell you who, what, when, and where did that. I might say, well, when I was young. So you can get an idea. No particulars. So just so you know. Okay, so the numbers are not ranked. That's all there is to it. And I will try to do no harm. And if I do harm, please make a comment. Tell me. And I'll try to rectify. I don't know how. Cheers. The Jira Foundation will produce more videos like this. Please like, share, or subscribe if you enjoyed this video.